Hey everyone. Well, I want to show you some things that I'm doing with the Nature Junk Journal I'm making for myself. <clears throat> I gutted the book and um, carefully took all the pages out so that I can easily um, separate them and use them in the junk journal. And I've been watching lots of junk journal channels um, to learn some things. So I'm going to be doing the rounded um, spine or cur yeah, spine background. And I've got four um, inserts put together and I'll show you those. But um, if it's too thick for four, I'll just do three because I don't want to do too much. I'm just going to wait and see because I am adding stuff into these so three might actually be better. Um, if I add a lot into them I could actually do um, two and I just have to look for another book the same size as this one. <clears throat> Something else I've been working on is the decorations. So I've taken these are from a calendar, a Marjolaine Bastine calendar I had, a wall calendar. So I cut them down, and I was thinking I should save some of the bits. And then what I did is I put this over it, and then um, glued it on, trimmed off um, the, this edge, and then um, made, folded it over and made a little pocket. So I have these pockets to make. I made one. I'll show that to you. I also took one of them, and I decided since I was going to do the hidden spine type of thing, <clears throat> that I would do um, two pages. So I took uh, this one and cut it in two and trimmed it down to fit. I distressed it with um, the vintage photo distress ink. And then I took it to my sewing machine, I put on this vintage eyelet lace, and then I put on this um, seam bind lace seam binding to have kind of a mini little area where I could put something if I wanted to. Um, and then I just did the zigzag stitch in brown. And so when once I get that spine piece in um, where I want it, I have to put... I have to put that piece, make that piece and put it here. Then I can glue these down and these will be in here. I'm probably also going to decorate the cover. I've been watching like a ton of um, videos, like I said, YouTubes, because I really want to learn how to do all these things and all the ideas and there's so many ideas from people and I'm doing this as a nature journal for myself though I might have to I might change my mind um, and sell it I've been looking I've managed to catch two people who put their journals on before they sold and so I could see the prices the price range so I was glad about that. So here's what it's going to look like. Um, I think I put them together, but I'll take them, I'm going to take them apart to put um, lace on some of them and pockets and things. And they're all the same size. I didn't do different sizes. So this is from the actual book. I put several pages from the actual book in. This is some tea dyed paper. This is from a nature journal. I'm going to show you which one it is. Tea dyed. Um, just that legal size yellow paper. This is from the book. This is from another a poem book. This is eco dyed paper that I did from flowers I had. This is an, from the book again. This is a tea dyed, a coffee dyed, I coffee dyed, coffee dyed toilet, coffee dyed writing paper. Um, this is tracing paper, coffee dyed. This is from a children's book and I just found the stories that had more nature type things in them <clears throat> and I just distressed around it. Um, just some tea dyed paper, tea dyed um, music sheets, the book. 
Here's the pocket. I'm going to put all the pockets in the middle. So here is the outside. And then what I did is I just um, folded that tiny bit in and it just makes a little spot right there. And I might do uh, what I saw, Izzy B Craft something, Creations or something. I love her stuff. Is um, She put a piece of ephemera here, like a die cut or something, and then you it gives a little bit more of a stable tuck spot. And pretty, too. So that's how I did. They're all basically the same. But... Um, so I'm just trying to figure out um, how I'm exactly going to do all this. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of like working on it still, the, all the decorating ideas and everything. So we'll just see how that part goes. So I'm going to just set those aside for now um, and keep working on those. But I want to show you my nature books. Okay, so I have this one. This is a modern one, the Nature Company, the Walker's Companion. And I figured I could use it for ephemera for decorating because it's not really vintage. If I find something I felt like it go in a nature journal, then I would certainly go ahead and do use that. Like this Mary Austin, this would be really cool. Um, and I could like take something like this and tea, da, stain around it and it would be just fine. So that's one. Um, this one, I'm just going to show you some different ones that I have. This is A Trail Through the Leaves um, by Hannah Hinchman. Now I'm not, I might use this one to cut out. I have not decided. I'm not as a I'm not super attached to this book, so I may um, I may use this for ephemera. I don't know yet. Um, another one I have is keeping a nature journal, and this one's very cool. It tells you how to actually keep a nature journal, and I think this one would be fantastic for cutting out. So this one, I, yes, I'm going to cut out of this one for different things. Because I want to make, I've decided with the junk journals that I'm going to concentrate on making nature journals. Because that's what I like. It's kind of my favorite thing. Then I have um, a view from a sketchbook. This is Nature Through the Eyes of Marjolaine Bastine. I'm absolutely not cutting this book out. <laughs> I love her work. I paid full price for this book, and I am not, not cutting it out. I absolutely love it. If I ever find one used or super cheap, I might look on Amazon, see if their third-party ones are selling any, then yes, I would cut that out, not this one. Um, so that's a no. God's Acre, uh, this is by, illustrated by Claire Roberts. Um... This is in England, and she did the illustrations in here. And aren't they just lovely? I just love them. They're so pretty. Really nice illustrations. And um, I don't know. I haven't decided. This is an indecision. Will I or will I not cut this one up? I don't know. So that's undecided. <laughs> Then I have this, and this is the one I showed you here that I did cut up, and I actually, this is Janet Marsh's Nature Diary, and I actually ordered two more um, on Amazon third party, super cheap, like one for $1.80 plus shipping, and one for three, two or three plus shipping. And this one is definitely, I'm cutting this one up. It's got so much in it, I love it. So yes, this one for sure will be for my journals. All right, so three I'm cutting up. Now I have these and I'm not cutting them up, these Edith Holden. I used to have Edith Holdens and then for some reason when I was cleaning up and minimizing, I got rid of them. I wish I hadn't, that was dumb. But I reordered them for myself and aren't they just, look at that, oh my gosh, the 
color is so beautiful. I love these books. This is actually a 1977 one. And it's just, it's a facel, a facil me, what do you, how do you say that? Fasim, fasim, whatever. It's a reproduction of a nature's diary. And here's a nature's notes of an Edwardian woman. And hmm, this one is, 1989. They're so beautiful. Aren't they lovely? Well, anyway, I ordered one of these. I don't remember which one, but I ordered one that I will use for cutting up. Um, really cheap. And if the one I'm getting is, like, whichever one's in the best condition, you know, that's the one I'll keep and the other one I'll cut. But I'm not going to cut these two up because I want these. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I have my limits, I have my limits, but I have three books I can cut up from, so I'm really excited about that. Um, this is gonna be fun to do. I just gotta get like a pretty, like a good thick paper for that piece, I think, because that's what the book, the pieces get sewn to. So that's what you do first. And I just need something thick that would probably look nice. Um, I could go with a busy, a busy thing, but I don't think that's almost like too busy, right? Or let's see, do I have one that's a little on the plainer side? I want to bring out a little bit of that blue, but if I can't, that's all right. I could actually go this because what you're gonna, do, what I'm gonna do is be putting it right here. So let's let's take. I probably want to go like to half of this for sure. So let me um, do, let's just cut that really quick. I'm just going to basically cut it in half. All right, so then it comes right here and I want it to be the same um, size as these. So I'm just gonna like measure up to where that is. Looks like it's, I want to be sure I do it right. I don't want to get this wrong because that would be much sadness, right? Okay. At least I got more, so if I do cut it, it's not like I, I don't have any. I don't have more. Um, all right. So this is the piece that's actually, and I'll probably have to rewatch the video. But this will be the piece that they are sewn onto, the, you know, the inserts. And this will go here, and this will go here. And then if any of it shows, um, it, it'll be pretty. At, at least it'll be pretty, right? <laughs> that's, that's the whole idea. And I do want to do something with the outside, but this will not be it because that's way too bright. But I want to do some kind of, um, I don't know, decoupage or something. Um, if I take a look at my stuff, I'll be right back. I'm just over here. I'm looking at a couple of things that might work. I have so much stuff. But let's say, because I love this stuff here, I could easily um, take this cover and use this Tim Holtz um, decoupage paper. And I could just decoupage down decoupage this on here. I've decoupaged like a napkin on before and I thought it turned out really nice. So I have this idea. Let me do this. Because this really is about birds. This whole thing is about birds to me. So I'm gonna, I want to do a little tearing. 
So I wasn't going to do anything, but you know what? I'm going to do a little bit. All right, let's do this. And I'm going to probably leave the rest, except I might just decoupage a bird right on there, you know. But I kind of like this. So what if I tear, and then I can use that other one to decoupage like on a page. It would be really pretty, wouldn't it? So if I went like this, and let's tear this one a little bit closer, and let's tear this off of here, and maybe I want to be really careful because it's the lettering I'm trying to keep the words about the birds because it's like a title and I like it. So let's just do a little bit of, I want to be, get off some, tear the top a little bit as well. Maybe go down a little bit right here and then Let's tear a little bit of this off. All right. So I kind of, this is what I would kind of like to do. So I'm going to tear a little more. I'm going to leave the back cover. I'm not going to worry about that. But I could put this um, right here. And then I could put um, some lace or something down here. And then I could put this on the spine of the book right there. But this I would cut. So I would cut part of this. So let me see. If I went like this, I'm going to cut have to cut really close to the bird. So let me do that. I should be doing my regular journaling, but here I am, not doing my regular journaling. <laughs> playing, I'm playing, that's what I'm doing. I'm just playing, but it's kind of fun. So I thought that this might actually be um, a fun way to decorate this. So let's see if this will work. So I'm going to put somebody was so lovely and gave me this roll. It's like it was in a happy meal and I was just really blessed. Okay, so, well, let's just do this then. And I'm just gonna use Mod Podge. Have my Mod Podge here and brush I like to use for it. Um, I have several brushes that I use for Mod Podge and it's just which one I want to use, this one. So, let's do this and let's just do where we're going to do it because it's not going to be, it's not the whole thing. Though I suppose if it looks like it needs to be the whole thing, I'll have to do the whole thing if it, because it looks weird if, if it's not all done. It's, that's very possible, right? So maybe I'll just do the whole thing anyway. And not worry about it. I'm so tempted to do a napkin first, you know, just because, or, or some pretty tissue paper first, which I didn't think, so I can't. <laughs> So we're just gonna go with this. Okay, so this is how we're going to put it. There we go. 
And then we'll just do this. Okay. Make sure I get all my edges. There we go. I want to be careful. Careful I don't like ruin it or anything by going like where I shouldn't or how I shouldn't. All right. Okay. So I think that'll be really pretty. Then let's do the spine. And I'm just going to do the whole thing with the spine as well, so you know it has the same texture. Might as well, right? And let's just set this down. Just go up here first and then I'm going to kind of go down the edges make sure that that's in there really well and here as well And then that will dry really nice. I'll just make sure we get all the way down. Okay. I think that's going to be good. All right. So, there we go. And I can just dry it on low so it's not too loud. <laughs> but I want to see what it looks like, so I'm going to dry it. But yeah, I, I haven't totally thought out everything that's going on the cover, but I have a little bit, so. It's always dry, it's pretty decent. There we go. See, it's drying really nice. mostly dry I just want to be able to see and then I want to bring over some lace and we'll see what kind of embellishment we can put on here um, to decorate this and um, I'll bring my lace box um, I got all of these at like Goodwill it's a whole box of laces so I don't want frilly lace on the outside. That much I know for sure. Um, and I have this lace. This is the one I used inside the cover. But I have some others. And it's just a matter of, you know, would one of these look good? So let's say like this one actually. I probably will um, layer the laces. Let me get... Um, And I'm, I'm going to have to um, glue them on as well because that's how it's going to have to be. But I'm going to make some layers to make it kind of pretty. Okay. 
And maybe like, I have some buttons and things that would be really fun on here. All right, so I have that and um, I could put maybe a little blue, um, that's a thought. Um, I'm not totally sure. I have, everything's unwinding. I have this blue, but I don't want to use this blue on here, so that's a no. Let me see, what else do I have? Um, I should look at, I have some tool, I have white tool, but that's not what I want. So, let me find my other tool, if I can figure out where it is. Here it is. Hang on, I'm coming back. <laughs> I have this, which would really actually be quite cool under here. Um, like I could put this down and then put this on top of it. And that would make kind of a cool cover, wouldn't it? But do it a little different. So let's, let's just trim that. And then I'm going to do it a little different. I'm gonna fold it. Let me make sure I'm in frame for you guys. Yes. <laughs> I would feel really bad if I wasn't in frame. So what I could do is do this here and put this, put this up a little here so it's sticking up, in which case I really don't need this much. but I could have it sticking up like this. Let me use my fabric glue, my fabric tack, and let's just, have I opened this? Yeah, or no, I have not opened this. Yes, I have. Oh, no, I haven't. So, there's a... <laughs> There's a thing in here I should have opened before I even started this. I was like pouring glue in and yeah. Yeah, Terry, oh my gosh. I was not planning well here at all, you guys. See if I can get this cap out of here now that I totally did that wrong. Ew, ew. Hmm. <laughs> now, now I'm like getting glue all over everything because I did not uh, plan this the way I should have planned it. Come on, come out of there. There we go. Oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> what a disaster I have created. Not only a disaster, but I have got glue all over everything. Okay, so this is where those baby wipes come in handy. Ugh. Not to mention I'm keeping my try and keep my glass a little bit clean. Right? So kind of the wish here. All right, let's just kind of clean up the mess. Get the glue off the tweezers, because I certainly don't want glue on my tweezers. And get it off my stick pan for now. All right. <laughs> let's try this again. See if we can't do this the right way. All right, this is all I want to do, is just a little bead of glue right there. Okay? And that's just to put that down, just like that. And then I'm gonna do another bead right here, and then a bead right here, and then maybe right 
there just to kind of help this piece stick where I want it to. And I think like this. Okay. Now, if I wanted to like kind of give a faux look of, oh, this is a little bit dark and I have not done that, you know, I didn't do anything for that. Um, I could take my Distress ink, I think, and just see if it will transfer it all on here, just to darken it up. It will do the embossy areas a little bit, just a little, because I want it to, I don't want it to be quite so white-ish looking. So if I could just, you know, Give it a little uh, more. Okay, I think that's good. That just kind of dirties it up a little bit and that's what I want to do. And then here, it's still um, kind of loose because I didn't go to the edge and I think I want to go to the edge. So I'm gonna go to the edge and push that down and I'm going to do the same this side and just push it down and let it dry. Now I wanna put on, um, just get another tiny bit of embellishment here. So um, let me go see my box of embellishments and I'll show you that. Um, I don't have everything. I almost all of it in here, I think. I may have more. I do. I've got vintage buttons and all kinds of other buttons. i got all kinds of buttons and things and pretty cloths and stuff. And so let me just see if there's anything in here first. Because I might want to, I could hang a little charm off of here. But, like, you know, I'm not sure what I have done with most of them. And I need to find some charms that are like wildlife charms, you know? That's what I need that's very silvery and I don't want I don't want silver like that and yeah those others aren't what I want and you know maybe even just this little bit something like this would be very pretty but um, so yeah there isn't anything in here and I do have all these buttons so you can see like, I have some really cute buttons that would be fun to put somewhere, you know. But because this button has that on it, and I have a feeling if I, I could probably snip that off. Let me see. Let me get my... Let me get my stuff. Oh man, I got more stuff. Look at, I have a butterfly. I found some more stuff. That I didn't know I had. Oh, but it's purple. Okay, well, can't do that. And here's another one. I like this one too. The thing, these are not flat buttons and that's the thing with these buttons. There's that. That's just a little bit too, not the color I want. And I have some flat buttons in here, like this button. Oh. <laughs> if I can manage not to lose it. Oh, darn it. Oh. I don't know where it went. It prop. oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm just like, what did I do with it? 
Okay, let me bring this over here because the idea is to use the colors in the book. So let's say I liked this button. I want to make a little collage with it. And I could put that little button on top of it, but no, I'm not going to do that. But I could make um, a little like collage type thing. Here's another one. But I don't think that's the right one either. Okay, so let's let's go with that. I'm just kind of looking for another button I can use here. I don't have a lot of colors. Most of mine, I have a I have a jar of these buttons here, like all kinds of stuff, and not just buttons either. So actually, ooh, I just saw something. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I'm losing buttons everywhere. <laughs> I just got this whole thing of buttons um, at a thrift store. So that's fun too. But anyway, look at this one. Isn't that perfect for this? And I like that metal one and I like this one, but I really like this. So SR Harris, uh, we have an SR Harris not too far from us and you can get all these little bits and bobs. You can get uh, material pieces like these that are just absolutely stunning. Um, all kinds, all colors. They're just, they're so gorgeous. Look at this. So beautiful. And you can get all kinds of buttons and charms and a million things. Seriously, a million things. So it's nice. Okay, so I'm thinking, now that I have made a mess of everything, that I probably should um, maybe just another little piece of material or something on here. Look at the other, oh, look at this side. I didn't even see, notice that side because I liked that side, the plainness of it, but I really, really like this button. Um, and... Um, Maybe what I should do is do um, do something else. There's all kinds of interesting things in here. It's not just buttons. It's like it's all kinds of stuff. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah. Okay, because here's an idea. This one, too. So maybe what I want to do is put a tiny piece of ephemera here. Um, like, you know, a flower or something. I have some ephemera. This is Maggie Holmes. I got this at Paper Source. See, I was just going to show you stuff in this video, and I wasn't even going to do any of this. Nothing. Seriously, I was not going to do any of this. And look at me. <laughs> now I am. What can I say? I just want a little piece um, that I can glue down, and then I can put um, a button and maybe a little sticker that says something. Or two buttons. Well, you shouldn't do two, right? They say do twos and threes or ones or whatever, but not don't just do two, right? That's what that's what the thing is, people. Okay, and then if I took a phrase, uh, one of these Tim Holtz, and put it there, because there's some stuff that could work. So what could we do? A wonderful creature. That would be kind of cool. And let it fly away. Mm, let it, I kind of like that. Oops. And I managed to not do that correctly. Ugh. 
or the story or a sweet story corner of your heart whisper to my heart um, now is the time oh this is kind of like so many pretty things it's like hmm I don't know I could do now is the time and I'm actually going to um, di distress that up a little bit because I feel like that's just too, looks too new-ishy. So let's distress it a little bit so it kind of look goes with the look. And then let's distress up the edges of this little vellum die cut as well. Okay, I like that better. I think that'll be better. Now, if I want that to stick out a little bit, maybe up and out a little bit, um, there is this flower right here. And that would kind of give it a up a little um, because I feel like it could use something to bring it up, you know, kind of like this, but I'm not too thrilled with this. So maybe if I can tone down that green a little bit, it won't bother me. Otherwise, I'm just going to cut it off, cut that leaf off, because I don't need to have that leaf. Because um, that could go like this, and this could go here. And I think I'll be okay with the leaf as long as it's dark enough. Okay, so that, that could go right here. And I'm changing my mind. I don't want the leaf. So I'm just going to cut cut the leaf off. Because I don't like it. Okay. So I could put that here. And then I could put this here. And then I could put this sticker right here. Now is the time. So then I've got that already tacked. And let's just use a little bit of this glue. And then let's use this glue around the edges here and here. Okay. And then let's put it where we were talking about, kind of like this, right? All right. And then kind of to help that along, I'm going to just kind of roll that to just stick it, make it stick the way I want it to. I don't want it to come off, so I want it to stick good. Here we go. There's a little glue. Okay. And then I want to put the buttons down. So I have this cute little button. And I have this button. And then I have this big button. I'm not sure about that big button. But I do like this one. And I actually prefer this one this way. And maybe I just need a little vintage button. Look at that one's still got thread on it. I, I like that. But now I don't like that. <laughs> cause, cause I don't know what to say. Okay, here's some other choices. I love it that there's thread on these. <gasps> that one. There we go. Let's put on these three cute buttons, like this. Okay. First this guy is going to go right there. Just make a nice little glob of glue and I'm going to set him down. And then this one's going to go right there. Okay. 
And this one, right there. Okay. Ugh. I feel like I'm making a mess. But I do love that there's thread in two of these buttons. I think that looks really nice. And actually, I'm super happy with this. I think it looks cute. Let me tap, cap my glue. So yeah, I think that turned out good. I got a, quite a bit of stuff to clean up now that I've been doing all that, but I am I am happy with that. I think that's good. I should find a home for all my buttons. I definitely need to find a home for all my little pieces of ephemera. I've kind of got things everywhere at the moment. Anyway, I like that. I think that I think that works. I feel like I did. It's a good cover. So we'll let that dry. And yeah, I think that works. And I like the little bit of threads sticking up. And I like the thread that's in the um, buttons. So I'm just going to push these down tight. Um, thanks for watching. Slowly this book is going to come together as I continue to work on embellishments and stuff for it and when I'm all done I'll decide if I'm going to sell it in my Etsy store or not it will be my if I sell it it's gonna be my very first junk journal that I sell and I don't know that I'm done with the outside cover yet because I still feel like I need to do something here down here but I don't know what I like this I'm not gonna do anything back here um, but I don't know it needs something so if you're watching and if you have any ideas you know of what I could put there be sure and tell me I mean I could kind of copy and go like that but I don't like that so that was not an idea skip that one <laughs> but I do have like um, interesting like if I just did this leaf you know, and just like Mod Podged the leaf down, um, maybe with a little saying. Do you think that would work? Like if I took one of the words, um, like this delightful one, and then just like put it here and Mod Podged. What do you think? Do you think that would that would look kind of cool? Like if I if I went ahead and um, like dirtied it up, because then it won't be quite so shiny. And then just put it like right here. What do you think? That might finish it off. It's I'm having a hard time because I I kind of feel like I should have brought this down. And then, um, like, had more down here instead of how I did it, you know. And I could, I could, um, I could totally finish it off like this. Let me, let me do this and see. Like, I could totally do this and just, like, finish it this way. That would actually work. Let me just do that. No, I just was, wasn't thinking about the whole process. So, yeah. Okay. Not really thinking about it, you know? So let's just go ahead and much podge this and then I could totally set this on here um, like that okay and then go ahead and much podge over this and if it comes up I will just put some glue down when this dries and it will be fine so maybe 
Maybe this will solve my issue. I'm definitely probably going to have to glue that because I don't think it's going to stick otherwise. It might. But if not, um, it's not a problem. I'll just take some of that glue and I'll glue it down. Let's just give it a little dry, okay? see. I'll see how it goes. I can totally like come in with this glue actually and kind of let me just do glue around a bead of glue around it. Maybe that's all it will need is just bead of glue because the glue I think the glue will be fine I know this is a mess I shouldn't be doing it like that but I am I think that will actually um, help it do what I want it to do I'm just gonna tap Let's go like that okay yeah that was kind of a weird way to do that I know um, I gotta dry that a little bit more. But yeah, I think um, I think now the cover is how I like it. just needed that tiny bit to finish it off and I think that did it so there we are there's the spine I think I'm pretty happy with that and there's the front cover I'm super happy with how that turned out so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it <gasps> look how much time oh my goodness 53 minutes <laughs> talk to you later